Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more MechWarrior 5 Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Well, there is Heroes of the Inner Sphere DLC, but this is the Legends of the Kestrel Lancers DLC. And uh, we have to repair some mechs after last time. My archer lost the side torso and an arm. Uh, the Warhammer lost the same side torso and arm. The Zeus 6S got destroyed in the 5S. Um, nearly lost the same side torso and arm, but survived. So you uh, will just repair a double heatsink. Awesome. So we don't even lose too much. We don't lose anything there. Um, you, I don't think you're going to be able to go for the next mission, sadly. No, 70 days. So that's going to be interesting. And you. Can we even repair all of you? No. Um... It's just the small lasers and that that are missing. Interesting. Do I go with a couple of mediums? And one extra heatsink. No, double heatsink works. Put it there because it's kind of more protected. Do I have any small lasers? There. So we lose a little bit of firepower. We gain a little bit of heat sinking. We'll see how that goes. It's not going to be ready either way. So there's that. And then the Zeus. Uh, let's see. So large laser's gone. I can put a double heatsink in there. Lose that. And go with that. Do we have. We have an Ultra 5. I think the AC 10 is kind of working. Okay. Yeah, it's that's not going to be ready for. And 2 million C bills. Shit. Yeah, it's not going to be ready till the end of this war. So you're out of this, unfortunately. Um, We kind of have just about enough ready for another fight. Because I think it's 50 days. Um, we have the Zeus back. Uh, let's take a look. So the Marauder, the Zeus, and that's it. Battle Mass is still 78 days. Wow. I mean, there is the option to buy more, but that's not the best option. But anyway, let's get into this. Let's see what the next mission is. I think it is, yeah, it's part five. And I don't know how many more are left after that before the end of the Sana campaign. Then we see where we go from there. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into the mission briefing. That's a lot of reading. Wow. Um, yeah. That sure is some story you got there, Commander. While I am glad to hear that Captain Damu was able to rally a number of survivors from the Fusilier's ranks, you won't find much sympathy for their plight among my men after what Heartstone pulled. You see, things went sideways for us the second we arrived in the system. After they heard Maximilian's layout killed their beloved Duke, General Heartstone ordered the 5th Searchers Fusiliers to charge ahead of our invasion flotilla on a high-G burn that jumped the gun on the agreed-upon invasion schedule. They beat us to the, pla to the planet's surface by two days, hoping to satisfy their lust for revenge. All they did was walk face-first into a trap that doomed them all. I can still hear the screams they broadcast to us in vain hope that we would save them while we were still over a day away from reaching the planet. The Screaming Eagles and I decided that despite the incompetence of Hearthstone and the Fusiliers, 
We could not deviate from our contracted invasion plan. If we packed it up and left for home, we might have lived, but we would never be able to find an MRB back to work again. We came to the joint decision that we would drop in system and fight out McCarran's armored cavalry in a protracted guerrilla war and attempt to get a message off system requesting reinforcements from the armed forces of the Federated Sons. Little did we know the Capellans had some kind of jamming field that disrupted long range communications planet wide. These bastards kept their jammers off so we could listen to the fusiliers plead for their lives in our approach in, in on our approach in. Only to flip the switch and jam our comms the second we hit atmosphere where we've been trying to figure out a way to get mess a message to the jump point ever since. Commander, we've spent months scouting out the facilities that the compellers use to disrupt long range communications on planets, but our numbers but with our numbers, we're, we've already determined that assaulting was too high risk. With you here, we may just be able to pull it off. You know the Compellents are gunning for us. So if we pull the Big Mac's attention away from, the num from a number of their regional jamming arrays, we should be able to thin their defenses enough to where we can perform a strat targeted strike and bring those jammers down. It'll be just like Galahad. We'll draw them away. You see, that's the mission gets done. I'll be straight with you, Commander. This mission is critical for to us being able to get a message out of system. I don't know how much longer any of us can last down here, but if you give us and give us a month or so, we can plan for an assault on those jamming facilities. So take your time to prepare, prepare your forces and be ready for anything. We may have a need to deploy in consecutive missions depending on how McCarran reacts to their jammers being destroyed. So make sure you complete as many repairs and refits as possible before we execute a mission. Godspeed my friend, we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so consecutive deployments doesn't sound good. I may end up having to buy another mech. Because let's see what is left. So... You're not going to be ready. You're not going to be ready. You're not going to be ready. And you're not going to be ready. No mechs ready to launch. So we are going to be taking... Uh, well. All of our assault mechs are wrecked. We're down to heavy mechs. Uh, well, the Marauder was going to be ready. Yeah. Then the cataphracts. Well, you're injured. Okay. Yes, because your mech got completely destroyed last time. Santiago, you can come in then. Uh, we got the thunderbolt and got the rifleman. Is that the best we've got? We got a quick, quick draw. Other than that, it's Punchback or Kintaro. Well, it's 270, so we're 50 tons under. So you're good with ballistics and lasers. Your lasers. Okay, maybe. You get the Rifleman, you get the Thunderbolts. Oh, you've got really good missiles. Maybe. You get the Thunderbolt. There we go. It could work. If I remember correctly, isn't this Marauder extremely hot? I think it is. So we're going to have fun with that. 50 days. Some of the mechs will be about ready for the next mission, so it should be okay. Uh, depending on how big and scary this mission is and how much we take damage. I'm thinking this one and the next one are going to be absolutely brutal. The Crater Cobras have provided us with the location of a series of powerful ECM arrays. 
that have been disrupting long-range comms across the entire Sorna system. If we destroy enough arrays within the region, we should be able to pierce the localized disruption field and get a message out to the system's jump point. We need to destroy these ECM arrays in order to have any hope of getting a message off-world. If we don't succeed, well, we'll all most likely die here, Commander. Ah, oh, lovely. No pressure at all for the likes of us, eh? I know it's hard to hear, but it's the simple truth. While we've had our successes, McCarran's armored cavalry still has four full regiments of troops on Sarna. It's a simple numbers game. The reality is, we don't have enough forces to come out ahead. Even with the Crater Cobras and Screaming Eagles, we need reinforcements. And with the system's HPG down, the only way that we can ever hope of getting them is if we get a message back to Davion Command through a ferried message by Jumpship. Bringing down these ECM arrays is our only chance of doing that. I'm not exaggerating when I say that this time, all our lives are depending on this. So good luck, Commander. Yay. Not like the pressure's on or anything. So, yeah, I hit the outer edge one first, and... I'll see what we can do next, see what the plan is next. I might try and hit the ones outside of the city first then go all in to the next into the city basically we shall see depending on what we face early on we're getting jammed new target spider that target is ours oh missed it all got some of it so much damage already. It's probably one of our more bigger targets. That was a transmission on the AFFC's command line. The first one since we've arrived at Sarna. I can't make out anything in it, but destroying the other ECM towers might allow us to hear the broadcast. Keep it up, Commander. Awesome. Right, I'm going to try to hit one just outside. I think we've got to go inside the city next and then hit the one that's really far away because we'll probably trigger these. I don't want to get sandwiched between enemies. Everyone hit the rifleman. And you got sight also down. He's nearly down entirely. Come on. And right. I just took that mech out. Good. Tango eliminated. Oh, that was in my face. Target acquired. New target, Commander. Oh, he's only he taken out from the back. Good. Oh, I can't get that one. I can't get that one, though. That might get his attention. Not really. Not really, but, you know, he went down anyway. One 
Well, the griffin, sorry, not the griffin, the rifleman is taking the worst of this. Just have to live with whatever damage he takes. Because the rest of us are looking okay. The hooks. Thunderhawk, the thunder. Whatever. Isn't looking too good. Thunderbolt. That's the words I'm looking for. And more ECM jamming. Target acquired. Now we speak over there. Dragon. Grand Dragon, Grand Dragon at that. The ECM disruption is weakening, but McCarran is encircling our forces while you're attacking the ECM installations. We don't have the numbers to fight through them. We need those towers destroyed so we can find a gap in their lines. We fought too long and too hard for this to be our end. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, our back is open. How is our back open? I don't like the back loop. Got to open back. Something's been shooting me in the back and I didn't realise. A turret. Or two. Okay, the dragon's gone, thankfully. Okay, well, could it be worse? Could be worse. We've got some of it now. Go over here first. The message is getting clearer, but we still can't make out any discernible Didn't realise I was thinking back. We need to destroy those remaining ECM towers. Commander, our tactical projections are not good. The only way we can break through McCarran's forces is if we abandon our wounded. That is not something I'm willing to do. We're preparing to make our last stand. Finish the mission, Commander. Then get as far away from us as possible. Regroup with Captain Damu. Get a message back to Davian Command. Survive. Colonel Westrake, I'm sorry we couldn't do more. It's okay. It's the part of the job that all of us mercenaries must accept at some point. Today, it's just my time. And let's get some cover. And a little bit more cover. And they have a lot of VTOLs support in this area. Cool, that one's down. Come on. Come on. I'm getting hot, but I'm taking this guy down with me. Okay, he's practically down. That is an Orion. Let's switch to the Orion. Okay, that's a lot of attention I've just drawn to myself. And the rifleman is not looking good. But it could be worse. You're down. Well, he's nearly gone. Ow! Ow! Well, we took him out. Awesome. I didn't think he did. Frags are looking okay. Thunderbolt isn't too good. Rifleman's about to get cored. Yay. I'm about to get cored. So it ain't looking good for both of us. What have we 
pick up next. Oh, cataphract and something just there, that's the blackjack. Okay, let's go for cataphract. Achieved. You will love medium fries. Okay, the Cataphract is the only one that's looking good now. Everyone else is looking beat up. One more target to go. This is going to be the hard one, I think. Yeah. But it's fine. We'll get it done. That turret I left in there, probably. I don't care for a turret. Let's just get out of here and get home. Did see another turret pop up. There it is. There it goes. Right, is everyone with me? Somewhat. Okay, we're out of the city. Give everyone a second to catch up. I don't see anything out there, but it will appear. See something over there. Oh, catapults. K2 variants. I don't like that. Okay, I'm going to go get the objective complete. Component locked. Need support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get in the mission complete. Arden Sortek of the Davion Heavy Guards calling all surviving forces of the Federated Suns. We, we have reached Sarna's atmosphere and are available to reinforce on your position. Is anyone out there? Please respond. Again, this is Arden Sortek. Colonel Sortek, this is Colonel Richard Westrick with the Crater Cobras. My God, is it good to hear your voice. The Crater Cobras and the Screaming Eagles are pinned down 50 clicks east of the city of Catatonia along the coast. We estimate that the Big Mac will have us completely surrounded in three hours. Transmitting exact coordinates now. Coordinates received. We're preparing an orbital mech drop to reinforce your position. Hold fast, Colonel. Help is here. This is Captain Alana Damu with the survivors of the 5th Sirtist Fusiliers. We don't have much left, but we are moving to assist. ETA, two hours. Looks like 
our salvation is here, Commander. I've marked a new Exfil site on your map. Let's get out of here and join the others. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh joy. Thank you people. I've much needed that assist. Maybe attack. Focus the commander's target. Right, we haven't lost anyone. We have lost a few components, I think. Target is done. We've got to get out of here now. And hopefully there's nothing. No surprises for us. Because the cataphract is good. You're wow. Very red. And you've lost an arm. But otherwise. You're alive, walking. So, actually, a tough fight, hard. If we'd have had the 50 extra tons, then we would have been good, I think. But we didn't have that 50 tons because the campaign has been very challenging at times. Let's just make sure that we don't get taken out along the way. And I think going into the last mission, it's not going to be too bad. I think we'll be able to keep a couple of these mechs. Actually, no, only the cataphract. Cataphract, probably. I think everything else is too badly damaged. Uh, I think we'll have the archer and possibly the battlemaster, or maybe not. Actually, I, can't, I think the battlemaster got sent a torso, didn't it? Therefore, it's not going to be in the campaign at all anymore. Anyway, and yeah, we'll see. We shall see what else is available. That's if we have to drop immediately. If we've got a few days of waiting, is no 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 no. no. Stupid turrets. Target is down. Mm, I think I lost another medium laser on that rifle because of that turret. Damn it! It's fine. It's just one more medium laser to rule them all. And I'm sure there's going to be a few other medium lasers, or sorry, yeah, turrets along the way. No pickups though. No pickups at all on this map. And I don't actually think in the last one, the one where we had to fight inside the downed warship, I don't think we got anything from that either. Those two. So hopefully that gets fixed at some point. Fire. There we go. Ah, stupid turrets. We're nearly there. Just in case we do a beachhead on this map. Let's take out some of these. I don't think it's going to count, but it's fun to destroy things while you've got 3,000 feet of run. I'm glad that there was no uh, ambushes along the way, but it could have made things interesting. I'm pretty sure we've a lot, we would have lost a few things, mechs included. But otherwise, we're good. We're out and can't complain. That was a good mission. It was a very good mission. And done. Uh, 4.5 million sea bills, lovely. And I mean, we can take a catapult K2. Ooh, do I? Oh, does that one? Uh, how do I tell if the Grand Dragon has double heat sinks? I suppose we can check to see what drops just single heat sinks. Doesn't give me an option, does it? No. Uh, well, all the gear is garbage, so I'm thinking a K2. What do I? Um, I'm going to take the Commando, and then 
We lost an AC5. Why not? I'm going to gamble on the dragon. It might have, because it's a grand dragon, it might have double heat sinks. And the K2, I don't think the K2 does. But anyway, we're good. And less than a million sea bills. Not too bad on that front. Okay, let's uh, check the battle mix. And... I don't think there's any way of me checking out what it's got without pulling it out of storage. No. Okay. Fine. What we're going to do is just do a quick repair on you. Quick repair on you. You're probably going to need, uh, yeah, medium laser that we don't have. Do you have some tier fours though? But not we're not putting them on you. We just have basic ones. Fine. And how many uh, I don't have any double heat sinks by the looks of things, so I don't think we got any from the Grand Dragon. And I'll just repair that one. That's fine. That's only gonna take eight days. Nice. Very nice indeed. Right, so. Let's take a look. Sana Part 6. Ca um, Commander, Captain Damu, we're about to engage in the fight of our lives. The Capellans must know that if we can't... W if they can't wipe us out before the heavy guards touch down on Sana, it's over for them. Their only hope at maintaining control of the planet will be to utterly destroy our forces so that when Colonel Sortek touches down, they'll have the numbers to fight him back. We've all gone through too much just to lose everything at the end. We need to muster whatever strength we have left and hold the line until Colonel Sortek relieves us Gather your best mechs, equipment, and mech warriors, and meet in my crater cobra. And meet my crater cobras at the following coordinates. Prepare to give the big mech everything you've got. We do not need to go through six months of hell. We did not need to go through six months of hell just to die on the day that reinforcements arrives. The only thing left to do is hold the line. So when are we dropping? When are we dropping? Immediately. Immediately. What can we possibly field? We can't field anything, can we? Okay, so we have a Zeus. We have a quick draw. Uh, I mean, the Cataphrag could go in. I'm tempted to put the Hunchback in because it's always held. You know what? We are going to go to the Battle Mix. We're going to put the Kintaro away. We are going to buy a mech. Another mech. I know. We're... Triple PPC awesome. Nope. Cyclops. Could be interesting. It's 90 tons. Stalker. I'm thinking the Stalker because we can refit that afterwards. It will probably hold nicely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to buy the Stalker. Purchase. I don't know why I'm allowed to buy mechs on an enemy planet, but hey. It's all good. Alright, I'm just going to sell a few things. I'm going to sell you. you got two quick draws. You're double-legged. I'll sell you. That's massive difference. Half a million to 1.8 million. 
Phoenix Hawk, Kintaro, Jenna, Grand Dragon. And then we got the Firestarter Ember. Yeah, let's get rid of you. That's 1.1 million just for that one. I mean, that's 5 million. That'll hold. That'll be fine for a little while. Let's uh, put the Stalker in. Who is my best missile boat pilot? Be you. Ballistics, you. And lasers, you. Do we have a better missile person? No. You're maxed out, but that's not... I'd rather... Yeah, you're still the best. Awesome. So, ballistics, six. Uh, five, six. Six, eight. You don't... Ooh. No. We're going to go for you. He asked the Starborn. 47 max skill points. You're pretty damn good. You're probably going to die now because I'm putting you in the lightest mech in the world. And then that's a laser boat. So we're looking for the best laser mech. Pilot, six of eight is pretty good, but we can't feel you. Tully is the one already in there. You. Miller Cerner. Okay. Those are our two that those are our best pilots for the mechs. And then there's me, who's just there. But yeah, we're gonna go with the Zeus. Or do we go take the stalker? No, I'm gonna leave it as it is. We are horribly under tonnage. Damn, how much is the, um, no, where am I looking, the Cyclops, 14 million, oh dear, that would be amazing if I could afford that, I don't think I'm ever going to get to that point though. I could sell everything here. Commando can go. Jenna, that can go. I mean, we're up to eight. Catafranc, that is brand new. Shiny, never been touched. 2.8 million. That's 11. Let's go to the equipment and see what we can sell. All the tier zero stuff can go. Even the machine gun tier zeros. Let's see what we end up with. And you know what? PPCs. I don't like them. Especially the ER ones. And... Wow, there's not much on the missile front. SRM 2s I don't like. Not enough. Just not enough of anything, really. Now go down to 5. Go down to 5 there. We're not going to make it. Not without selling more mechs. Although, a million heat sinks. Uh, machine gun ammo doesn't really help us. So just short of 13 million, so we could do this. We could, and that will make it a little bit easier. Ah, uh, no, sell. So, Phoenix Hawk. 14.8. And the Orion is... 24. Does that... That must have... Has no double heat sinks at all. Interesting. Just very expensive. Why is that more expensive than a Cyclops? Hmm. Do I buy it? 
Well, I've kind of made the money now, so let's do it. Need to clear some space. Yes. Who do we put away? Um, I am thinking... Who? The Zeus 6S. Rifleman. Rifleman can go. He's not really going to be used again. Um, yes, that's fine. Where is he? Where is the Cyclops? That also gave us some money because we got the money back from the repair. Right. So let's get this started. Hunchback is coming out for the Cyclops. That's a bit better. You don't have any ballistics, but you'll do because you're very good at defensive and all that other stuff. So let's drop. Cost us uh, 20 million to in to get into this fight. Let's hope that we can do it. This is it, everyone. Colonel Sortek is on the verge of making Planetfall and is en route to our position. The Karens knows that if we successfully relink with the Davian Heavy Guards, they're done for. So they're gonna throw everything they have at us trying to put us in the ground before Colonel Sortek's reinforcements arrive. We've spent the past six months in hell, cowering and sulking in the shadow of those bastards, trying to survive against unprecedented circumstances. No dropship support, no air support, no way of communicating with the jump point. Hell, we even made it by with no HPG completely blind to the rest of the inner sphere. We made it through all of that. But today, finally, we can stand tall against these Capellan bastards. Today is a day of retribution. Today we are finally taking the fight to them. Fusiliers, I'm not one for speeches as eloquent as our mercenary friends. We have been struggling to survive since the Grey River ran red with the blood of our fallen brothers and sisters. Just remember, they're still here. They're watching over us. And today, God willing, we will avenge their death. For new Sirtis! For House Hasek! We have contacts. Dead ahead. All forces fire at will. Those Stay are some epic cover war speeches. Don't let them spill one more ounce of Cobra's blood today. You heard them. Commander, Colonel Westrick is right about one thing. The McCarran's forces will be relentless. There's no telling when the Davion heavy guards will make it to the field. So we need to support one another if we're going to make it out of this alive. Tread carefully, Commander. Sounds good, sounds amazing, but where is all the enemies? They're hiding. Aha! One spotted. Rocco, focusing fire. Nearly got leg. Nearly got him entirely. That's him to backed up against the building. Oh, that's not good. Awesome. And then there was the Vindicator. That's a victim. I'm glad it's not a victim. Well, that was a bit all over the place, the hitting. Okay, let's get moving a little bit, shall we? Uh, right, zoom out so I can see. I like this mech so far. Ah, that makes a junk pile now. And uh, another vindicator. Yeah, that was a wasted missile barrage. Come on, get a lock. Oops, friendly fire. New target, Raven. Raven. Miss. Uh, got something on it, at least. Right, let's see if I can hit the Raven. Get rid of the 
ja okay, there's a few more than just a raven around here. Attention. I don't really want to go face to face with this guy, but we have got a couple of head ship shots on him. There's another one. And another one. Uh, excellent lucky shot. <laughs> yeah, not so lucky. Not lucky at all. Okay, we've taken a bit of damage, but so far, we're doing good. Six months. McCarran and his cronies have taken six months and hundreds of our brothers and sisters' lives with them. Fusiliers, make them pay! They like their vindicators. Gonna help them. Uh, come on, come on. They're getting warm by vindicators and blackjacks. Oh, my back is open. Why does my back always get open? I think I might fail this mission. Jesus. Just because I stand still a bit too much. Watch your step. That back. About to Although we have been attracting a lot of fire, so let's my AI take a bit of the fire for the moment. Why are you not in the fight, Jaeger? Coward! Cowardly in the face of battle. Really? You shoot me in the back? No one else is behind me. That's just stupid AIing. I'm trying not to fire off this mech because I didn't want to uh, do friendly fire, but then I realised it's not actually a friendly, is it? Whoops, I broke the building. There's only two mechs down there at the moment, so there's three mechs. I think the backfire, the damage to my back, is actually from friendlies. Pretty sure it will have been from friendlies. see anything from that cloud. Okay, we're backing up a bit too much. Oh, the building's falling on me. Alright, what else is left? What else is left? Half a Vindicator and another Blackjack. Forces of the Federated Sons. My Davion heavy guards have just touched down. Oh, our the building. Scatter us across a wide area. We are reforming our lances and about to move on your position now. ETA, two minutes. Hold out just a little longer. I think we can do this. Uh, I'm out of ammo for LRMs. Yeah. Last volley. Uh, being ripped apart. Need help. Uh, that would be the stalker. The stalker. Someone went down. Someone, I think one of my allies just went down. But the stalker is getting ripped to pieces. Ah, quick draw. I don't 
know if I'm actually hitting because of the building. But that is the last mech as far as I'm aware. As far as I can see. We're out of LRM. Uh, yeah, you're ooh, brand new to a wreck in one mission. It wasn't the... You didn't even get touched because you were cowardly at the back. You, you lost a bit as well. Two brand new mechs damaged. Forces of the Federated Sons. The Quite Deviant quickly. Heavy Guards are here to assist. It's time to take the fight to McCarran's Armored Cavalry. Oh, not you, Commander. One last push, and then it's over. Let's uh -oh. finish this. Yeah, we're, it's, there's still fighting to be hemmed up. And... Commander's target! Yeah, we won't go for him. The number of our battle mech forces. Commander, we can really use an assist. No, run away, run away. And then we got some reinforcements. Much needed reinforcements. Awesome. That'll be a cataphract. That target is ours. That'll be another Vindicator. And another one. Sons, give them no quarter. For months, these wolves have hunted you like prey lost in the woods. But now you have a chance to defang McCarran's armored cavalry once and for all. For the fallen, for the fifth Certus Fusiliers. Uh, did I just hear that right? McCarran's forces are withdrawing. Is there really a need to run them down? We're still at war, lad. The Federated Sons will want to ensure that an elite unit such as McCarran's is crippled as much as possible to put all of House Leo in a position of vulnerability in the future. I also imagine compassion and reason are the last things on the minds of everyone that went through the last six months of hell at the hands of the armored cavalry. For better or worse, we still have our orders. Let's help clear the field and see this battle through. Ooh, there'll be an enemy stalker. We've taken on significant losses. Form up, everyone. We've made it too far to fail in our moment of triumph. Yeah, I've hit the stalker, I think. Try not to friendly fire the centurion there. Reporting critical damage! Oh, Cyclops, don't fall apart now. Just bought you. I kind of wish I had my LRM still. That was a solid hit. We nice. can't hold out much longer. Let's take Commander, care. Help us! We are so close to victory. I'm helping. My legs are broken as well. Oh, that opened me up big time. I'm about to fall. Move, 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 move. I am so badly. There's not much armor left on my mech. Why am I limping? Why do I feel like I'm limping? Okay, the, the Cyclops is about to die. And I don't actually think we've got much left. Friendly fire can bite you back. Watch it. It's alright. Just. Come on, right at the end we're gonna fail this. Right at the end. Because I've got nothing left to give. Oh, they opened my 
everything up basically. Everything is open. Uh, I don't think I've got any allies left. I think it's just me. My lance is the last one left and we're outgunned basically. few weapon systems now. Alright, that was inevitable. They're about out of missiles, so let's just finish them off. Forces of the Federated Sons. The Davion Heavy Guards are here to assist. It's time to take the fight to McCarran's armored cavalry. Okay, see if we can get this one. We're gonna lose the Cyclops. One last push, and then it's over. Let's finish this. That's a lot of enemies. Watch your fire! Whoopsie. That wasn't my fault. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Oh, come on. Let's take down the black jack. Why can't I move? I'm stuck on something. I was looking good a second ago. One left. I think it's two left. One behind that building and the cataphracts. Copy. We're on it, sir. Uh, the stalker's nearly gone. I think I've lost Starborn. I don't think he's uh, going to survive, unfortunately. We may lose part of the Zeus here, but well, so be it. months ago. I have no doubt in my mind that we would have died like the rest of our brothers and sisters in the fifth. We'll never forget what you did for us. Likewise, Captain. 
Without you, we would never have been able to complete our mission for the Kestrel Lancers. Now let's all fall back in with the heavy guards and finally get some R&R. &R. It's been one hell of a campaign. Oh yes. And uh, some people are still firing, although I'm just wondering what at. Nothing. I think nothing. So let's see what we get for all of our troubles here. Uh, 2.7 million sea bills. I don't think that's going to cover the cost of a battle mech. Dear, see, they didn't even bring anything good. And that that's the loot tables. That is, that's it. No weapon systems. Nothing. Well, let's go with... That's the best we're going to get, I think. Number 4.1 million sea bills. We... Oh, you're injured? You're injured? So there's nothing left of the Cyclops. That's 5.4 million sea bills. That's 1.6 million. 7.3 million sea bills of damage in that mission. That's insane. We didn't lose a pilot, though. We damn near lost two mechs. The quick draw took barely any damage. These two dished out quite a bit of damage, but paid the ultimate price. And we get some goodies, double heat sinks, LRM, LRM 20 Artemis, Ultra 5, and an ER large laser, and number 3.2 million, so we're rich. But anyway, Commando, I've just received your report from Arden Sawtech. I cannot tell you how glad I am to hear that you made it through the Xano campaign. When I heard of the armored cavalry ambush and the HPG being destroyed, I feared that I may have condemned you all to death. You had all of the Kestrel Lancers worried for you. While I am sorry that I cannot be there on Sana to debrief you in person, there is still much more for me to do here on Tigress. Please accept this canned message as your formal debriefing. By the time Comstar is able to deliver this message to you, our offensive, which the news feeds have taken to the to calling the fourth succession war will be over. As I speak, Comstar is negotiating the end of all hostilities between the five great houses. When all is said and done, the Compellent Federation will have cap have to capulate that it is it has lost over half of its former territory, most of it to be claimed by House Davian through right of conquest, but some by former Capellan commonalities declaring independence from the Confederation. The first to break away was the Tikhonov com commonality. They were holding out hope that the Confederates would come to their aid, but after being cut off from a direct logistical route to Xi'an, they eventually declared independence to spare their citizens from further Davian invasions. You won't believe who leads them, our old friend Pavel Ridzik. After he managed to escape our forces and fled Tikhonov, strategic director Ridzig retreated to Elgin where he took control of the region declaring him, himself supreme lord of the Tikhonov Free Republic. His reign didn't last long as an assassin killed him back in June. The other breakaway faction is the St. St. Ives commonality. The the former heir of the Confederation... Yeah, Jesus, these big words. Confederation Candice Liao abandoned her father to declare her providence independent from the Confederation. I cannot imagine how Maximilian La Liao... Yeah, and... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, yes, let's just skip to the end. The Crucius Lancers won't be escaping these budget cuts... Uh, budget cutbacks either. While for the long time my command will still exist on paper for the most part, so most of my personnel of the second Crucius Lancers have been consolidated into the third Crucius under Marshal Pedroza's command and I will continue to garrison Tigress. I can currently exist to ensure that the Kestrel Lancers continue to, to be on paper Tiger to our enemy while the Confederations are economy recovers from the war okay yeah lots of reading i think we're done and we are actually done we can actually look at the star map and 
let's take a look here. It doesn't look any different. I think some of that has changed position. But yeah, we're in Sana. And all of this green will disappear shortly. I'm not sure what year off the top of my head. But what we do know is there's a campaign mission over there. We need to repair mechs. Yeah. <laughs> There's one. The Hunchback is the only one left standing. Jesus. That's a hell of a campaign. And it was worth it, I think. Worth it all the way. And there was a transmission message from Arden Sortek. Did we get an AMS? Really? That's all we get? Cheers for that. Love it. Yes, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So in the next video, we will be looking to repair all our mechs and then find, find some of the new um, mechs for... Yeah, we've got all these Kestrel Lancer DLC missions where we get a Warhammer... Um, medium laser, okay, some equipment, more equipment, and more equipment. Gels rifle, I might go for that one straight away. And then we've got the inner sphere mechs. So, if I remember correctly, it's not that one. I think it's this, no, there's one, there's, there's, I want the archer. I think it's the archer that has the SRM-6 build. But we'll find that when it arrives. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I shall see you next time for some more mech destruction.